uh, that told me to reflect on the panel. <laughs> um, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I think what we all heard was really eye-opening, really something that, although you, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. It's just not something that you're completely aware of at all times. Uh, students are trying to tell educators, hey, we see the things that are wrong in our system. We see it, we're not just blindly following. Like we see it and we need the change, you know? I think the main point of the panel was to humanize and kind of give stories and context to the data that were so often like, oh yeah, this is more likely to happen if you're here. Like so often, this is all we hear. So that was kind of the point of the panel. Um, yeah, data does a lot. I'm really, it helps a lot, but I think the point was to kind of be like, no, this is real experiences that we see every day. This is things that happen to us year, every, our entire lives in the education system. So that was something that I want to highlight. The main thing that they wanted was that when you see yourself and what you're being taught, when you see yourself in the stories and in the history, when you see that, it adds another level of strength and empowerment that you just, you just, you don't have. You, you see yourself and you see yourself as being colonized or this or that, and that's all you see. So how do you expect to see yourself? You know, you look in the mirror, you're like, oh, I know my history. I was just colonized, you know, that's, that's all you see. So I think the main thing that they ended up really talking about and directing themselves at was that I want to see myself because in the in the stories, I want to see myself being taught like, no, your people did this, your people did this, your culture has this. And I think that was the one thing that they were like, we need to appreciate that because our cultures are valuable and they're valid. And it's just not something that we're allowed to be taught that where we see, you know? And I think that was the main thing that they were really focused on. The, the students on the panel, they were like, I don't expect how they, I think that was the main thing that they ended up speaking about because so many times it's like, the problems that occur are just because they don't understand, the other students don't understand each other. You know how there's no, okay, like you are this, I am this. Okay, we're different, but it's okay. And I think that's the number one thing that they were like, if we just understood each other a little bit better, then so many things would happen. Like it would, it would just exponentially change. And I think that was the main key takeaway that they wanted the board to feel. Um, and I think one of the things that they stuck onto was graduation requirements because that's the most tangible thing. Um, and yeah, back to the ethnic studies thing, they wanted to see themselves in the history and the, in the work that teachers do. They wanna see themselves in it. They don't want it to be some abstract thing of, oh, this is what they are, but I don't really understand what it is about their cultures. They wanted to be something like, oh, see, you have this and I have this and together we can do something cool. You know, it's not, we are completely different, we are polar opposites, and this will never work. I think the main thing that they wanted was to be a part of the curriculum, be a part of everything, because so often you're not, you're left out, you're left out of the conversation, out of the 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 customs, the the history, you don't, you don't really relate to it. I think that was the main thing. So um, out of that we have jurisdiction over, I think that was the main thing that they kind of grabbed a hold of and felt that they wanted to see some change in it, a requirement for a course that resembled ethnic studies. I had something that they could see themselves represented in. I think that was the main thing that they, that they, um, yeah, that they wanted. I think what they wanted was to make sure it was like a separate thing to really highlight the, the importance of it. I think, although they didn't want it to be Eventually, what they, what they said was that they wanted it to start from, because these things are formed when you're young, they wanted to um, integrate it from once you're in your first grade and you're learning stories, like what do you hear about? That's what they, they want to integrate it like full on, but their first initial step they thought that made sense was to just make it a separate class in like in um, high school levels. That was their initial thoughts. Um, the pros and cons to that, obviously, it can turn into a checkbox, like, okay, we have this class, we're good. I think that's the biggest con. Um, something else that, well, they needed it to be separate just because it, like I said earlier, it would highlight this is, we want to make a point about this is, we want it to matter, you know? Um, but I think they eventually they want it to be integrated into all levels of schooling because that's, that's the most important thing to make it be as meaningful and impactful as it should be.